Hey guys, how are you doing today? Welcome to a brand new day of Pokedex. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Um, as you guys know, today is viewer battles. Today is Pokedex day. We are going to be continuing on our quest to complete the Pokedex. We are almost done with um, Kanto. Hey guys, we are how are you doing almost today? Almost done Welcome. with Kanto, the first original Pokedex. Um, <clears throat> we are almost done. We are almost, almost done. And today, we are going to playing, we are going to be playing with a Jolteon deck, a Flareon deck, and a Porygon deck. <laughs> so, um, there's a new emote. The last one, the last emote we had was Nidoqueen. Queen. <clears throat> um, we've lost quite a few subscribers these past few days. Um, I guess people who got gifted and did renew and stuff. So there's still, um, we need 36 more subscribers to, to get a new emote. So it seems like it's going to be a while. Um, so there is a, there is a waiting list to play. Um, from now on, anyone who says that they want to play, um, on chat. So Alex, please, uh, wait until, uh, or type in chat that you want to play if you're there. Um, <clears throat> so if you want to play against me, please say so in the chat. And um, I will be making the list. I will be taking note of the people who want to play. And here's the thing, guys. Um, Daryl Gamer, thank you so much. <clears throat> thank you so much for subscribing. Very, very kind of you. I was just about to say, people who are subscribed to the channel will um, will get preference, right, in the waiting list. So Daryl Gamer wants to play. So Daryl Gamer will be the first one to play. Uh, Mr. Rayleigh also wants to play, so Mr. Rayleigh will be the second one, and then anyone else who wants to play, please say so um, in the chat, and I will write down on the list. Um, Henry, you also want to play. Uh, you would be third in the list, so um, I'm sure 20 minutes will be more than enough, and I know Kevin uh, wanted to play, so unfortunately you won't be able to be the first one, Kevin, um, but... Uh, you are the first one from the non-subscribers, so once I'm done playing against the subscribers, I will play against you. I have three different decks prepared for today. Um, <clears throat> that means six games total, and then once I'm done, um, I haven't had time to grind up our team on PTCGO. Sí, Kevin, sí. Hasta ahorita solo tres personas van a combatir antes que tú. Nadie más ha dicho que quiere combatir, entonces... Eh, tú eres la cuarta persona, ¿ok? Eh, Anfi, I'll, I'll take note of you as well. So you're the fifth person. And, <clears throat> and yeah. So, Daryl Gamer, if you haven't sent me a request, please send me a request. And I believe the command IGN now works. So now you guys can see my... Now you guys can see my in-game screen name. <clears throat> you guys can see my in-game in-game screen name by typing uh, exclamation mark IGN. So no, it's not Tablemon. It's demo underscore Tablemon as can be seen in chat. Um, Axel, you just need to say that you want to play. Um, so I I guess you do. So I'll write down um, Burrito Boy of War. Do you want to play? Uh, I'll write you down as well. So, Daryl Gamer, please send me a message. <laughs> That's a pretty cool bloop. <laughs> That's a pretty cool emote. Spicy chicken. Uh, That's from Sombra's channel, right? Uh, Daryl Gamer. Okay, so I guess you ha you you are not very familiar with today. So today's games are more casual. Yeah, I'm not going to be playing a meta deck. We are trying to complete the Pokedex. Um, so if you're going to play a meta deck, you're definitely going to destroy me. Yeah, I'm playing a Jolteon deck, I'm playing a Flareon deck, and then I'm playing a Porygon deck. Um, I am trying to uh, complete the Pokedex by building a deck for every Pokemon in the Pokedex. Um, we're, we've been uh, doing this since uh, Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle, etc. All the way up to Jolteon, Flareon, and Porygon right now. Um, so all you need to do now is send me a challenge if you want to play against me. Um, please do so, Daryl Gamer. I assume you were Nichols. I assume you were Nichols. 
uh yeah so okay well i'll i'll send you a challenge um so yeah just know that if you use a meta deck you're probably going to destroy me um the today like the more casual or more fun or more rogue your deck is the better because then it allows for a lot of cool um yeah exactly like Buzzle would just destroy my Jolteon deck Zorak would just destroy my Jolteon deck um so today is a more casual day today is a is like the more casual deck you use um against me the better the battles because um it's less powerful cards against less powerful cards where if instead we're doing less powerful cards against the meta decks well I definitely the games end up lasting like three or four turns um so yeah, that's the um, that's the whole idea behind today. Um, good luck and have fun. And um, Burrito Boy, I will not be streaming on Sunday because there's a leak up on Sunday that I have to go to. There's a special event tomorrow and there's a leak up on Sunday. So I will be at those events. That means I also won't be streaming tomorrow. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm streaming today. I wanted to start the stream um, earlier than today but um, unfortunately, I had a lot of things to take care of in the morning, so I couldn't, uh, but it's all good. So that means we probably won't have time for the Nuzlocke today, which I know a lot of you guys were looking forward to. And yeah, so we're up against, I would assume an Alolan Executor deck. So our flash ray protection is not gonna matter here. It's definitely not gonna matter. And our hand is, not great to the point where we're probably going to need Orankuru um, to not be priced, please, <laughs> in order for us to get out of this sticky situation. And we really don't want to attach Bloodstone to Jolteons. Um, yeah, sure, Axel, if that's what you want to use, that's completely fine. Um, but yeah, guys, like I said, um, subscribers do get preference. Subscribers to get preference in the in the waiting list. So so far we have three subscribers and four people who are not subscribed um, to play today. But if a, if a subscriber comes along and says they want to play, um, they will get preference right over the non-subscribers. Um, FQ, I can definitely add you to. I can definitely add you to the list. Uh, would you run Pearl City in Zorark? Like and rock, yes, burrito boy. I think I would. I think uh, Pearl City would be a good addition. Oh, I'm not even running Octillery, so never mind. Um, I'm gonna set up the Remoraid and then I'm gonna set up a Voltorb here or not. I need the Voltorb on the Remoraid actually. It is Pokedex today, Sinister James. It is Pokedex. So, FQ, I, I have written you down on the list, but. I'm only playing six total games and so far you would be eighth in the list. Yeah, so I can't promise that we will that I will get to play against you. It depends on um, who ends up making the like if someone drops out or something. OK, um, so we're going to get the first knockout here. And Alex, I can definitely add you to the list as well. Um, I definitely can add you to the list as well. Let's attach the shiny energy. It looks much nicer looks much nicer and flash ray you won't be able to play burrito boy okay so um i'm sorry about that um so i'll take you off the list so right now there's eight people total um depends on who ends up being here or not uh we'll figure it out yeah i'm trying to do like a like a random system uh with nightbot like with like a giveaway system to be able to do it randomly completely randomly um so once i get that sorted hopefully um it'll be good here <laughs> and you're welcome alex you're welcome right now you're eighth in the list alex so i might not get to play you today um but at least i got to play you last time around right and if other people who are before you end up not making it then We'll definitely get to play. Okay. So Tropical Shake. My attack is dealing 70 damage. Um, Tapu Thunder is not dealing enough damage. Sky High Gloss also isn't doing enough damage. However, 
it can it can potentially heal up essentially my Jolteon it can potentially heal up my Jolteon well not heal up but um, replace my Jolteon threaten the Alolan Executor just a little bit more and then I definitely don't want to help my opponent with an end so I'll just Cynthia um, is Guardi Pactis of Ultron Christmas weakness to very no Burrito Boy? Definitely not. Um, that's not enough to justify bringing Guardi back because it's so easy to replace uh, a basic GX with another one, and then it's not easy to keep replacing Gardevoirs as their stage twos. <laughs> You're welcome, Alex. No worries. <laughs> no worries. And yeah, Alex, what you could do is. Um, if your if your parents have Amazon Prime, um, you could ask them to to try and connect your Twitch account with their Amazon Prime, and then you could get Twitch Prime, and that way you could um, subscribe to the channel and get priority in the subscribe in the in the viewer battle space. Yeah. If I didn't play Pokemon, if I didn't quit Pokemon, I would play Mortal Fish Seeking. So I did chicken, that's pretty good. <laughs> that would definitely crush me. I mean, there's no way anyone can deal with Seeking. Like, I think we all have like a, a human agreement uh, where we all choose not to play Seeking because it would be unfair to everyone else, right? I think that's why we do it, I think. Um, I will next be streaming next Monday. I will definitely be streaming next Monday. Okay, so the Acerola combo here is very, very nice because we get to heal the Coco. We have the Jolteon. Um, the damage prevention from Flash Ray is not really a big deal, but at least we get another prize here, which is nice. Uh, just one. I, I, I'm used to clicking twice for GX knockouts. Um, same time, probably around the same time, maybe I'm gonna try a little bit, I always try to stream a little bit earlier, like around noon EST, 11 CST, um, but then sometimes either I have coaching in the morning or I go to a gym or running or things happen in the morning, so I just, I, I try to start around that hour, sometimes it's earlier, sometimes it's uh, spot on and sometimes it's a little bit earlier. Uh, Riddleski, hello, uh, there's already... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven people uh, registered to or in line to battle, and there's only five games left. So I can I can write you down. Um, <laughs> I can write you down, uh, but I can't promise that I'll get to play you. Um, the amount of energy to all of your opponents' Pokemon. So we're still not it's still not enough, rather, um, to get the knockout here. Uh, I mean, I I use Seeking Spicy Chicken because it was part of the Pokedex series. Like I had to use it because um, because of the rules of the Pokedex series. And then I just figured that Seeking was a usable card, and that's why I ended up using it. Um, okay, so we're gonna heal up the Jolteon. We're gonna heal up the Jolteon here once again. So we're doing the same combo-ish. We're gonna power up this other Jolteon. And I really just don't want to use um, my Sycamore. If my opponent attaches another energy, now my GX attack still doesn't knock out anything, which sucks. Um, uh, I mean, it's not an issue, real ski. Um, it's not an issue, it's just the game probably won't last very long, but I'll add you, and then if people drop out because they have to go or anything, I'll definitely get to play against you, okay? Um, after taking down the special event and destroying the League Cup, if I if I win the special event and I win the League Cup, I will play Seeking at the next League Cup. Um, there you go, Alex. There you go. That should work. It's very easy, I think, to link the accounts. So that should work. Okay, so we're gonna see a Guzma. We're gonna see my opponent pick off our poor Jolteon here. Um. Which is fair, it's understandable. Yeah, exactly. Like, I might get to... Like, when I get to Groudon, I, when I get to a Pokemon, I check all the cards that are available for that specific Pokemon. And that's when I do the... That's when I decide which one I'm going to do the deck on. Which one I'm going to build the deck on. Okay, so I think I'm going to set up a Voltorb here. 
Hello UCF, thanks so much for being here. I'm gonna set up a Voltorb. I do have another Serola, I also have Fighting Fury belts, although those don't change the fact that I get 2 hit KO'd here. Um, I'll finally be able to a Biffle Hand. Pixorg in the deck wizard, it'll be the worst <laughs> version of a meta deck. Yeah, that's true. That you could also do that. Like to make a card less unfair, you could definitely do that. That would actually be pretty funny. Um Okay, so we're gonna evolve again, and then, like, I have a chance to close out this game, it's just gonna be very, very difficult. Um, I really wanna find the other Azeril, though. Azeril is gonna be clutch. Is it worth running Regirock in Zorak Lycanroc? Um, I don't even think Zorak Lycanroc wants to run Diancie. I think it just wants to run, um, it just wants to run the, 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 um, What's the card I'm thinking? It just wants to run Baby Buzzle. It doesn't need uh, Diancy. Mr. Rayleigh, you don't want to play then? Are you sure you don't want to play? Or you just don't want to be next? Um, kind of missed out on Sheffield. Wonder what decks are going to show up. I mean, it's going to be a lot of Buzzle, a lot of Zorg. A lot of the same, I think. Okay, so my opponent has 3 energy now, so my Tapu Thunder now gets a 1 hit KO. I should be promoting the Flowstone Pokemon, but that's fine. Um, so I can get this KO, and then maybe I can get something else. And I definitely want to end my opponent here. I wish I had a Tapu Lele right about now to, to deal more damage, but that's fine. Um, so I could power it up, but anyways, that's fine. Or I wish I had a Tapu Goku as well. Uh, the Acerola should be very useful. The Acerola should be very useful. I should have a line for one. Um, <laughs> and then Tapu Thunder. Tapu Thunder gets us a knockout. Just barely gets us a knockout. And the Acerola is going to be clutch. Um, that's okay, Mr. Ely. Really. I mean, I'm using not very good decks as well. And Rotom is definitely a, a fun deck to use. Ooh, off of the end to two, my opponent gets Octillery and gets the Max Potion. That is actually very sad. Very, very sad. Um, we were hoping to make him dead drawn. Instead, he got the best possible ha the, the best possible cards he could have gotten. Um, Gumi Girl, I don't think I'm gonna have time to play Fire Red today. I'm sorry. I don't think I'm gonna have time to play Fire Red. Ooh, there's a teammate. So my opponent's gonna get the grass energy to be able to pressure me. I don't think I'm gonna have enough firepower to finish this game. I might, but I don't think so. There's a grass. Yeah, there's a Supra. My opponent can easily replace the executors. And I have no way to one hit KO this Tapu Lele. I really needed him to not draw well. Honestly, I really need him to not draw well. Um, okay, so let's say Serola back up this guy. And let's promote this guy and then I'll hit him for 80, I guess. Doesn't really make a difference. I can't bench this guy. Uh, big explosion. I don't want to do a big explosion, so I'm going to attach energy there. And then I'm gonna flash ray for AD. <laughs> That's okay, Jedi. Uh, would you rather there be no Pokemon games or no TCG? Uh, no Pokemon games, I think. Um, no, yeah, like I understand the numbers, Burrito Boy. I just don't think. Um, I don't think you, you should be relying on that. Um, it's just your, the bench space is so important in Zoroark Lycanroc that you're rarely gonna have a chance to to bench either Regirock or, or Tianzi. The next emote will be Mr. Soda the Arbok. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. Did I see the new lightning support cards? Yeah, I did. It actually looks pretty good. It actually looks pretty, pretty good. Um, okay, so my opponent got the Guzma. Seems like he's just wanting to play around. 
my Pokemon, which makes sense. Um, I don't think there's anything we can do at this point. I really don't think. We have too many energy. When does Mexico play? Mexico plays on Sunday, I believe. Mexico plays on Sunday. Right now I have, uh, back there, <laughs> uh, Portugal against Spain. And they're 1-1. And I've missed both goals. I have missed both goals. Yeah, it's definitely a good game. Definitely a good game. Would you rather play... Would you rather only play Trampa and Garp or only Espion? I think only Espion. Trampa is super risky right now because of the... Um, Oh my gosh, Max Explosion. Um, Trump is super risky right now because of Puzzle. I can't outlast my opponent here. And he's just looking for his last versus Seeker or his second Kuzma to win. Okay, so let's record this game. I've been really bad at recording all of my games. I have such a huge backlog of games. Um, so this is Jolton. Versus a Lolan Executor. And this is gonna be a loss. This is streaming and the language is English. And then six, so it's two games per deck, so it's Jolteon, then Flarian, oops, Flarian, Flarian, and then Porygon C. Porygon C. Okay. So, uh, we got end, we actually got end, it's just my opponent has these two guys, I don't think, I mean, unless he doesn't have energy left, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay, I think our only play is to Guzma twice and attack Lele twice, that's 100% our only play here, we do have three Guzmas, and we have Oh, we have just one up his own hand. Never mind. Um, okay, so I'm gonna absorb this one, and then this one, and this one. What do you think of, of the Shining Gems like Venusaur deck? I think it's cute, but it's not very, very good. Um, okay, so we got the Guzma. We actually got the Guzma one of the Guzmas. We need a second one. That's the thing. Or we need him to whiff energy to retreat. So I think I just attach everything. No reason not to. I'll keep the DC in case I need to retreat Octillery, although that's if he if he Guzmas Octillery then that's game probably. So yeah. Can we get another Guzma to win the game? Can my opponent get a Guzma to win the game? That's a real question here. That is a real question. Goes immediately for the Abyssal. Find the energy. Um, Tama Drummer, my wife was asking me how you learned American English so well. You didn't just learn in school to speak like you are from the US. You speak better than many of our own native people. How's that so? No, uh, it's a question that actually um, keeps on popping up, which is funny. Um, the reason I speak this level of English is because um, my parents paid for a private school. Ho oh, ho, we got it. My parents paid for a, my parents paid for a, for a private school, and um, I couldn't style you two turns. I had no Pokemon left. Um, my parents played paid for a private school, which was a Brit a British school. Yeah. So since I was six years old, I started learning English, British English, um, and so that led me to be like super in touch with that. I like I spoke more English at school and Spanish at home basically and my parents also helped me with English and then um, I also um, like when I was a teenager I got very involved with uh, American music um, well music in general English music and yeah when I was a teenager I like I used to do that because everyone did that um, and then I watched a lot of TV shows in English I, I watched all the movies I could in English um, so yeah, like I've been speaking English my whole life and that's that's how I learned. It became a, like a second language, but it's close to native as well because I've been speaking it for almost all my life. Um, so GG, 
GG Daryl Gamer. That was actually a pretty fun game and I had to get lucky I think. I don't know if you priced your last first seeker or maybe you didn't have one. Um, so yeah, Mr. Rayleigh, if you are ready with your Jolteon deck, please uh, send me a friend request if you haven't yet. Mr. Rayleigh, if you are still there. Um, and yeah, it's definitely... I. I 100% oh last prize was for Seeker yeah I figured <laughs> hello collapsing gribble um it's Flareon EX today Ampy it's Flareon EX um what was I saying uh Mr. Rayleigh if you are online please send me a challenge or a friend request so that we can get to playing um and yeah like generally in my whole life the number one skill that has opened me every single door has been speaking english more so than my chemical engineering degree more more than anything um having this level of english especially residing in mexico is a huge advantage a huge huge advantage um okay so mr really doesn't want to play then uh so it's henry's time henry are you there are you ready are you ready, Henry, to play against my Jolteon deck? I do see you online, so I'm gonna go ahead and send you a challenge, hoping that you are ready. Um, eh, Kevin, ahorita voy por el segundo duelo apenas. Voy contra Henry y después sigues tú. Um, <laughs> yeah, like. It, Learning a language is a lot easier when the younger you are, the easier it is to learn a language. Um, but I also learned Portuguese when I was, how old was I four years ago? 26, 25, 26. Um, I started learning Portuguese and I don't speak it to a level that I speak English or Spanish, but I speak it decently. Um, so it's never too late, right? That's the thing, it's never too late. Uh, okay, this is an interesting hand. I think I have to start Jolteon. Um, we're not gonna get the turn one attack off unless we top deck another Jolteon, but we'll see. We shall see. Uh, student loans. Um, when I see all this college video or whatever, but they make it seem like after you're off of college, it's rough. Um, I mean, everyone's life ends up being very different, right? Okay, so... <laughs> Torterra, I love Torterra. I absolutely love Torterra. Okay, so we need to outspeed Torterra here. Uh, we get four mulligans, that's crazy. I love Tortwig and I love Torterra. <laughs> hey Josh, thanks so much for being here. Um, uh, yes, they're all gamer. So uh, every cheer that you send. Um, it's like a donation. One one cheer or one bit is one cent of a US dollar. And I don't know, for example, I think um, 100 bits uh, or 100 cheers costs, um, I think $1.40 or something like that. So if you send that $1, if you buy that, then you can send the $1 for me and the 40 cents um, Twitch keeps them. And then the, the more you buy at once, the better the rate you get, I believe. Um, okay, so I'm gonna try and get the turn 1k. Oh, on this Cubone, which is not lightning resistant. Uh, I have too many energy in my hand. Um, so I'll thin for the Remoraid. And yeah, Alolan Marowak, Alolan Marowak with Torture is pretty cool. So I thinned. And I do hit it. I don't even remember how many energy I put in this deck because I built it two weeks ago. But we get the turn one knockout and that makes me a happy camper. Um, if Zorak Lycanroc, in Zorak Lycanroc, if you had the choice of starting Zorua or Rockruff, which one would you choose? It depends entirely on if I know what I'm up against. If I know I'm up against Puzzle, I start Rockruff. If I know I'm up against anything other than Puzzle, I start Zorua usually yeah um how many goals will germany score this weekend is it mexico versus germany <laughs> is it mexico versus germany this sunday uh, i'm actually not sure if it is then i'm hoping zero <laughs> but realistically probably at least two um donald has been messing around with a lowland marowak 
Uh, yeah, Lowlands Marowak Energy Advantage can be pretty good. So yeah, I'm hoping zero, it'll probably be two. Uh, okay, so my opponent very smartly is trying to, tie, uh, to, to slow me down. I'm actually going to end Henry to help him out. I'm actually going to end Henry because I have a DC to retreat. I don't even need to find a full stone, which I even get, which is crazy to think about. Um, <laughs> he gets happy that I help him out. I'm, I'm happy to help you so that the game lasts uh, longer and we get a more interesting match because that's the whole that's the whole point of this. That is actually the whole point. So flash ray for the KO. And hello and Murphy, thanks so much for being here. Um, thank you so much for being here. <laughs> 10 a.m. Sunday. I'm gonna be at a league cup then. Axel, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the 125. That's very kind of you. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. Very, very kind of you. Very, very kind of you. Um, so what was I saying? Um, your opponent has a pretty big hand. <laughs> uh, you bought bits. How do you give them to me? Um, so in the chat, in the chat, there's a, there's a smiley face for, em for emotes or emojis. And then next to it is a bit. Thing. And then there it should give you all the options to bid, I mean to cheer, however many bids you want. Um, is there a list for viewer battles? There is, Murphy, there is. Um, I have it right here with me. Yeah, let me, I have it right here. This is where I take note of you guys. So if you want to play, uh, say so. Um, right now you would be ninth in the list and I'm only going to play four more times. Yeah, because that's the time I have for today. Um, but if you want to go ahead and play, then please let me know. Um, okay, I feel like, wow, Daryl Gamer, thank you so much. That's very kind of you. Very, very kind of you. That's very nice. That's how you do it. And as you can see, as you, oh, well, you can see, I guess. Uh, I don't know why this keeps getting disconfigured. Okay, as you can see over there, over there you are number one in the bits chart and then we sometimes get people who want to who are really eager to get into first place and then we get a whole bit war going on yeah um so axel you are fifth on the list so you are still in range to to play today um what do, I, do you think that Rayquaza GX will be as good as an, in our standard as it is in Japan's? Uh, it's it's hard to tell. I think it will be. I think it will be. I, I have a feeling it might be... I might end up being paired with like Pika Bulu perhaps? Um, okay, so Giga Drain. Oh my gosh, I should have attached this to the active. That was very silly. If I had attached the Panic Fury Belt to this guy, I would have survived this Giga Drain. I definitely messed that up. Definitely messed that up. Oh, um, I get the lightning. I'm gonna ultra bullet that way. <clears throat> I really want to set up an electrode potentially. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm st after this game. I'm still playing four more people. Okay. I'm gonna spread the energy just in case he has. Um, Just in case he has um, a Guzma or something, and then I think I'm gonna sacrifice a Remorade here. I think I'm gonna have to sacrifice a Remorade. And let's uh, Basil Hand. And okay. Ooh, now sacrificing the Remorade doesn't seem great, but it's what I have to do. I'm hoping he attaches another energy, and that way um, Tapu Goku GX can come in and put in work. Um, is Dust main dead? Probably. Probably. <laughs> when I can watch your stream, I always see Manchester going crazy. Yeah, Manchester is a very constant uh, contributor. So, every little bit is always appreciated. <laughs> um, if they had not dropped that fourth hammer, I would have won with Dangerous Rogue GX. <laughs> hmm. 
Wait, what are you talking about, Alex? I... Oh, you just played a Granger, a Granger break tag with four enhanced hammers. Jeez, <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy, four enhanced hammers. Okay, so we lose the Remoraid. So, and he did attach the energy. So we're looking for a Tapu Koko GX. I'm hoping, I am hoping that Tapu Koko GX will hand us over the game here with its GX attack. Oh my gosh, but I didn't get Tapu Koko. <laughs> I did get an Ultra Ball. Oh my gosh, I don't have any Ultra Balls left. That's why. Uh oh. That's why. Jeez, okay. <sighs> Periquaza deck with Magnezone did well. Yeah, Magnezone, Magnezone or Vika Bolt. I think both could be good. I like Vika Bolt because it thins out the deck naturally. Um, there's another gold made. How do I know? How do I know this? You ask simple. My dad in the next room and he just raised the volume all the way up. <laughs> very nice, Jedi. Very, very nice. Um, yeah, 2 1 for Portugal. 2 1 for Portugal. I'm gonna have to watch the replay later because it's. I'm definitely not paying enough attention here. Okay, so my opponent had Guzma here. My opponent had Guzma. We whiffed the card that we needed, which was one of our two Tapu Cocos. We actually have two. Um, so now, I 100% need. Tapu Coco and an Elixir. Otherwise, we are done for here, guys. There's Tapu Coco and there's the Elixir. So can I thin before? Um, I can, but then I would have to play the Coco. Okay, so this is actually um, very, very close. This is actually going to be very close. Um, we did get the Coco. I do want to move all these energies. Thank you very much. I will do this as well. I will do a visual hand. I cannot use Electrode. I cannot use Electrode. And yes, I am definitely 100% rooting for Mexico always and forever. <laughs> um, the Masters list only had six non-standard cards. Yep, that's true. That's true. So that's why I think it's it's definitely going to be viable in, in standard. Um, you're gonna be playing Lithium the CDI with four Hala. That actually sounds pretty decent. That actually sounds pretty decent. Um, okay, so hopefully my opponent will not be able to. Oh, wow, Diane's is so mean in this deck. Um, hopefully my opponent will not be able to get out another Torterra. But maybe. Okay, we haven't seen the middle stage. Which I forgot the name of. Well, I can check here. Grottle. If there's a fine type Grottle that can maybe pick up my Electrode, that would be pretty sad. That would actually be pretty sad. Yeah, Enhanced Hammers can disrupt Puzzle quite well as well. Enhanced Hammers can disrupt Puzzle pretty nicely. <laughs> the Cedar is Orc. That was an interesting deck that everyone thought would get a lot more hype. Okay, so Torterra. And we get a pass. So I'm definitely going to hunt down the Girdle, right? And I'm going to Sky High Claws. I feel very evil by doing this. Um... I will attach the DC here just in case. And my opponent says, well played. I love Torterra. I absolutely love Torterra. It's one of my favorite Pokemon, I think. Definitely one of my favorite Pokemon. So GG, Henry. GG. Okay. That was pretty good. So now it's Kevin's turn. Yeah, now it's Kevin's turn. And remember, guys, if you're interested in playing, just say so on the chat. Um, that clears up our Jolteon Pokedex entry for the day.